My name is Badr Khattab. I have just graduated high school and started working now and hopefully trying to pursue a filmmaking career. Uh, and Abdurrahman has helped me a lot. Uh, he like more of, uh, he kind of convinced or showed me the way of filmmaking. I wasn't interested. I was going to study medicine, normal, or oh, going to study a doctor, engineer, that type of uh, lifestyle. And as I started working in 91 Degrees with Abdurrahman, Babad, and Ahmed Bakhit, Yasser, and Anas, I got really convinced that I prefer filmmaking than medicine. So this is the career I'm going to go for okay uh طيب. let's go back like 2007 okay you've been like uh loving more american football how did the story started like with american football thing uh american football most it mostly affected me because bender started playing it my older brother okay then it went down to buckle my second older brother then it was more of like it went through the family so that's how it really affected me which made me really like the sports more. Okay. That's what really made me wanted to play the sports because it was more of a, it was hanging out with brothers, mm-hmm. a family thing, which made it very interesting for me. Once like you graduated, there was something in your mind before you graduate, like it was like a medicine school. Yeah. Um, who convinced you to go to the medicine school or to like reflect the career to a medicine school? Is it like somewhere from grade 10, 9 or something or? Or what? It started off, I think, uh, when you're when you reach grade 10, grade 9, you're like forced that you gotta know what you want to do. Okay. Or you shouldn't be lost. You have to know your path. Laws. From now on, you need to find that thing that you're gonna do in university. Okay. But I chose it when I was grade 11. I was studying. I used to. Do, I was studying for my test, and there was like biology. It was like my favorite subject. I was mm-hmm. like. I think that's the way I want to go, biology, medicine, you know. And it wasn't like medicine, medicine. I wanted more of like the physical therapy since I was in sports playing football. And that. Okay. So I wanted more of the physical therapy. But I like, and I put it in with medicine, you know. <laughs> when I graduated that summer, I took off. And when Bakur went back to the States, I was looking for a job. Okay. Uh, my my father said to me, try to go to hospitals, do whatever, any like an intern, any for free work. But I went to like multiple hospitals, they're like, I can't take you. Okay. Then you came back and you're like, come work here. Come work with 91. Okay. First day I came. It was, it was slow in the beginning, the work in the beginning. Because mm-hmm. I didn't work, I was studying for my SAT. Because I was still in that medicine road that I wanted to study medicine. So you're still there supporting me, telling me, go do your SAT, try to get a good mark. And like, still to come didn't and get study. it. <laughs> I still didn't get it. Like, <laughs> get a good mark or get that? The SAT. <laughs> I did the SAT, but I didn't get okay. a good enough mark. <laughs> okay. So just like a sign just to go to filmmaking uh, career. Yeah, okay. you could say so. Because okay. I t- got down and I registered for KU. I didn't get accepted in the science department. So I could continue studying medicine. Mm-hmm. And then, so I was trying to do it again, but I never did the tests again to get a better grade. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, it's all a sign, like in the end I got pushed to filmmaking in the end, which I'm really happy in. Okay, when did you feel like yourself that the filmmaking thing, wow, it's it's my it's my career? Like, since when? After like you finished three months, five, six? Definitely three months. I still remember December. Okay. <laughs> December was the first time like where you like gave take, me a camera. Yeah, take us through that journey. Let's okay. Say. Started in October. Okay. I was doing the Hootsuite thing, the, all those Twitter, YouTube. Yeah, the social media stuff. Yeah, the stuff. social media stuff. I was doing that. It was nice. Paid the uh, media and that. I liked it. Mm-hmm. And then that was October. Then November, I was studying that whole month at I to come to the office, sit, study at mm-hmm. I had the book. I had online courses. That's all I did for the whole month. December was my test. I remember, I think December 3, December 1 or 2. Mm-hmm. I did the test. I came back, class, I don't have anything to do in the office. So it started giving me more work like in Adobe Premiere to start editing videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember it was Jedi United video, and then there's the Joy stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first time I went down into to video was the Jedi United Cornish women basketball game. The, I think the ages that uh, 
like uh, the two different ages that they played against each other. Yes. That was the first time I came down to video. Mm-hmm. It was nice. First time holding the camera, nice shooting, and you feel like, uh, you know, you have this idea, but you don't know how to use it. Yes. You know? I've watched all these YouTube videos, how people video shoot vlogs or that. I was like, I was like watching those stuff. You invest in yourself. Yeah. Mm. So when I was shooting, it was it felt nice, you know. But the best part that really like pulled me is the post production. I like the editing more than the shooting. Yeah, for some reason. In okay. the beginning, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Definitely in the beginning. We got commercial videos coming up. <laughs> <on Lester. laughs> so when I started editing, I was like, I mean, I started, ed- I liked it, but I was trying to deny that I liked it. You get it? Yeah. And I still wanted to do medicine because that's what I thought was like my first thing. So I need to continue. I can't change, you know, it's not that mm. tight yeah, yeah. thing. And I was talking to my friends, like, what you're doing? I was like, I started editing with Red, and I was like, do you plan on changing? So that's what really clicked. Okay. Never came to my mind, should I change? <laughs> so it's like, uh, you want to stay in your course? That's that's the point, which is, you just chose uh, medicine, and you feel yourself that... Uh, I can't change. Um, okay. Like, how do you change, you, you got know? stuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I was, like, thinking, I'm like, I like what I do right now. You didn't mention that. Huh? You didn't mention that. I never mentioned any of this. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> After class, I started editing with you guys mostly. Started editing weekly. The yeah. Joy videos, these small Jedi United videos. It was nice. That's something I always wanted to learn. Yeah, that's what makes the best or the, any pulling out the best out of you. You need like consecutive or continuously shooting and editing. Yeah. So it can be good and in your craft like uh, yeah perfecting the craft that's uh, what makes you like ahead of the t- of the uh, let's say of another any any cinematographer or any photographer or any videographer guy okay then i think take us to the journey of uh dubai okay i think it was like um ahead of our work what we do because uh, they're using like stuffs uh beyond what we use <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah you can tell us about like, the way uh, was trip. interesting i would say when did it go it was like april so mm. beginning of april middle yeah something like that so it was a one month thing yes i went for one month to the bay uh in the beginning Plus, of, uh, it was against that yes i was definitely against it <laughs> definitely you shouldn't be against any idea you just like <laughs> you need to take it and then like decide is it good uh, or is it bad okay for us when i went into the bay it was like i was resenting it Fully. Fully, yeah. Okay. Even when I went, I was still resenting it. But I was like, I don't know, I was like, try it, <laughs> you know? Okay. So when I went to the Bay, it was, it was a project about uh, Sheikh Zayed. Yes. Uh, it was a documentary for him of his life. Because he made a book, so we're making a documentary of that book. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went with my father's friend. Okay. Uh, it was his, th- he was the director. I went there. It was a really new experience because it's like you're going somewhere. It's like professional, but at the same time, you don't know anyone in it. Mm-hmm. Even my father's friend, I don't even know. First time I meet him. Okay. So it was very like awkward, something like that, you know? Weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when I first, I remember the first time I went to the hotel, I went up. See, see it was two British guys. Those are the two foreigners and the rest are, the rest of the crew is from Dubai. Okay. Okay. They could be different national officers, but they're from. They live in Dubai. So the first one was the DIP, the director photographer, and the second British guy was the colorist. He color corrected the videos. Okay. So when I first went in, I met the color correctors. His name was David. They're two old guys, but they, Annie, mashallah, they're very professional, Annie. I think you met him the first time, Subhanallah, because you're into Da Vinci. <laughs> well, they, he got me. He, yeah, it. he told me like, <laughs> yeah. I know you're coming for color <laughs> so we went to the Okay. Uh, when I first went in, it's like, oh, how are you, Madre? Uh, this is the hotel. We were like five people in one room. The bed, uh, the hotel had three rooms mm-hmm. and two slept in the couch. Thank God I didn't sleep in the couch. And the last, yeah. And then I got up my own room. Was it like uh, paper, scissor, and? Uh, La la. Oh, okay. <laughs> the la- up, they okay. were good enough. They're like, you take the room. <laughs> okay. I was like, shit, I gotta sleep on the couch. <laughs> Play. 
So, oh, the first night. I remember when I first arrived, my father called me. He's like, uh, how's things going? Yeah. It's like the director say, I, re- I reached there at 10 at night, okay? Mm-hmm. By the time I got out of the airport, it was 11.30, 11. That. By the time I got to the hotel, it was 12. But on my way to the hotel, my father called me. He's like, uh, the director said you're going to have to wake up at 4 in the morning <laughs> to go to the set. <laughs> it was 12 at night. <laughs> I just came from a flight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you like... Hey. Like what brought me here? Okay. <laughs> I hate this already. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even start. <laughs> you could tell the guy you turn. You can go <laughs> back to the <laughs> Take me to the airport, please. Okay. <laughs> so I got to the hotel, 12 o'clock. I'm to get beaten up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I met the colorist, Dave. Then I met the director of photographer, uh, Mike. At the beginning, I need to get a rough outside. Like, I had to break in, so they like me. <laughs> yes. So they were rough. Yes. It's uh, almost the same thing, even in the American football thing. Yeah. It's almost Definitely. the same. Definitely. Uh, I met the colors, then I met the cameraman, which I was his assistant too most of the time. Okay. Uh, who helped with the director of the photography, the lenses, the tripod cleaning, that, carrying. I was mostly working for the cameraman. Not working for the cameraman, but working with him. Yes. Good sign. Uh, his name is Yahya. That's who I spend most of my time with. Yahya and my DOP cameraman. Okay. The cameraman was like, uh, you could take the room. Which was very nice of him. <laughs> I okay. didn't expect it. I thought he was tell me, go sleep in the couch. <laughs> I get the bed. <laughs> they like, make you rest just like to wake up at four and then you have uh, <laughs> shooting and post-production like 12 hours. Yeah, which okay. was crazy. Yeah. Super crazy schedule. I don't know how I went through it. <laughs> Did you think after, ta- after that, like, I need to go back to medicine? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I think no, there was a shot. No, right? definitely, no, no. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... First morning, I walk up. Like I, I literally put my head. I open my eyes. Like the time, I didn't even feel my sleep. Okay. <laughs> like let's go get up. <laughs> you go down, you get a clothes, get, and you have to carry the camera gear every morning. Mm-hmm. You gotta carry a box of lens, a box of camera, the uh, <laughs> accessories, all these stuff. A lot of boxes. So you still always get a trolley every morning. Mm-hmm. Get the trolley, fill up the truck. <laughs> First day of set, you don't okay. know what's happening. As the as the DOP as the camera and water is shooting, like we don't know. <laughs> no okay. one knows. That's the worst part. It was very unorganized and somehow. They didn't share anything like uh, for the shooting, uh, let's say scenario script or something. The okay. only person who knew what's gonna happen, director and assistant director. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was which I really hated. First morning ago, I remember the morning was cold. Mornings were always cold for some reason. I think we need to do the same like the, like here. <laughs> Would be nice. The director, the director knows the scenario, and then you get, you get <laughs> over there like, what are we gonna shoot? We're gonna start from there. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't. I hate running gun. There's a script. They should be like. They yeah. should share those stuff with the team, so that can, like they know what they're gonna shoot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how they're gonna shoot it? When? What? What time? <laughs> so okay. So what was really amazing, like. The equipment they used, that was very nice, of course. Rolls Royce. <laughs> Rolls Royce, basically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we pull out the red camera. We're always talking about red cameras. And <laughs> Where you didn't see, see it. it. Yeah, yeah, for your first time, see it. Red cameras, oh, this is so nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, like, it was still tiring. I definitely you know, really got exhausted out of it, especially the first three days. That was the most exhausting days. When we started shooting the first day... We had breakfast the first thing. Mm-hmm. Then we started shooting. I was like, nobody knew me, and the director didn't know me really much or anything. And uh, the DLP is like, he doesn't know me. You're someone who has no experience. <laughs> you know, he didn't talk to me much. Okay. I had to like crack my way, yeah. <laughs> talk with him, go talk to him. So he starts talking back to me, you know. Mm-hmm. You have to crack your way through a person somehow. Of course. So they started shooting very nice, very advanced, like a le- those le- cinema lenses, cinema cameras. Tripods are different, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> which was surprising for me. So it was a good experience. I, the cameraman and the DOP, like, I really got in touch with them. Like, any, I got to, they didn't like push me out or feel uncomfortable with me. Like, we got to a friendship. Yes, area, something like I that. I think for that point, because uh, uh, you've been talking with them, like, uh, about the gears, the stuffs you read about, and then like, so you can break through with them. Yeah. Unless if you went like uh, a build, you don't know anything. They're gonna say they're gonna let you outside. Like, <laughs> just hold the lens for us, please. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. Us. So uh, that's the good thing. You need to read about something before, like you use it, or before you go somewhere. Just like 
so you can break uh, break up with the um, break through the guys like yeah, the director like the DOP say, those yeah. stuffs like break the ice yes. kind of well it's good Danny I had a background because when we were here we always talked about cameras cinema cameras right and that mm-hmm. not that we ever used one but we always talked about it yes because you know quality of them they're amazing <laughs> so first day went through I remember first day was like we got there five in the morning okay. location then we say shooting until what like seven eight at night something like that so that's like more than 12 hours okay <laughs> first day three hours of sleep let's shoot <laughs> how the tasbira <laughs> just like to know the rest okay but sitting never felt that good <laughs> you're standing so long sitting never feels that good okay. you sit you like which feels better laying down or sitting you know you compare I think to you that. guys like when when you start to sit like you start to hear the crack <laughs> definitely the crack, and the crack of your leg <laughs> you look for the smallest spot to sit because there's nowhere to sit in the set that's a old house we and it was it wasn't like a set this was more of locations we shot at okay we shot at like uh like a ballad over here in saudi but for dubai like the sheikh's house the man when he was young downtown yeah mm-hmm. the houses were hell old <laughs> like <laughs> small rooms the roofs are so mm. you have to bend going through doors i think like you need just to push the red inside alone <laughs> you just go, go get the job done and come back <laughs> you just put it there <laughs> yeah like, but how small it is it's very small but most surprising that really i learned from there was from the first day was lighting okay like a small dado light the kino flow wait 5k 2k all these lights for the beginning it's like what's that <laughs> too much information mm-hmm. And what I realized, the uh, shooting any like movies, short films, or that they're very different than shooting commercials or a YouTube video, a behind the scenes that I used to shoot. Yes, they don't require much uh, camera move, movement transitions. It's mostly go for smooth movement. Doesn't have to have big movements or that. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what you were shooting was a more uh, they call it a docudrama. Documentary. Ah, docudrama. Oh. They call it. Okay. It's a documentary, but like. In the drama way. way yes yeah. so that was like the first day I remember the first people i got to know was the lighting the lighting crew mm-hmm. <laughs> they're the one i used to sit with most of the time and talk lighting go get this and i used to sit and talk with them okay and then i like kind of <laughs> feels weird but like i made my truth through the ladder with the crew i was talking to i started the lighting then the managers and the location managers and the all the way up. D- yeah, cameraman, DOP, then the director. <laughs> like I had to... Bo- and then the chef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> okay. There was this one day where we shot with the chef. Okay. But they're like, only two people could go, you say, in the hotel. <laughs> in the hotel? Not outside, like, outside the hotel or... We shot outside in his... his uh, we shot in his office. Okay. Okay. But the only people that went was the director, director assistants, DOP, and cameraman. Those are the only four that went. Nothing from the lighting team? Nothing from the lighting team. You should have started with the DOP. <laughs> you have not like to talk with the lighting team, okay? But I didn't mind because I would get extra sleep in the morning. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so uh, like, instead of waking up 6 in the morning, I would wake up 12 because we're going to shoot at 2. Mm-hmm. They had to wake up on 6 to go to the sheikh. Then we go to the second location where I'm going to meet them, not go in the first location. Okay. But that was like later on. The first, four, the first week was in one location, which was that, the, the downtown, let's say. Mm-hmm. Second location was in the. It was like very fancy. There were chairs around. There were actual chairs. The, <laughs> the location had AC lights. Everything. It was very fancy. Okay. So it was like a very nice change. Okay. Uh, that was the second location, which was the. Uh, you felt the red chair. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was the. Uh, so then the Bolivar Towers of Madri Sheikh Muhammad's Office of Photography, something like that. Okay. So that's where we shot the second location, which was very nice. AC, it was like fancy, hella fancy, <laughs> like more than what you're comfortable with. Did you sleep? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I, I, I sleep definitely on the way or between breaks. <laughs> Not in the office. I wish I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can lay down <laughs> below the like chairs and the uh, table. <laughs> there was one day in the first location where it was a night shoot. Okay. So like from... Uh, 11 evening until 2 at night I didn't mind night shots but uh, during 12 o'clock and that the uh, weather would get so hot in the sun 
Because mm-hmm. there's some time we were walking in between that downtown. So there was that sun, you carrying camera gear or carrying lens boxes. The weather was like hot and cold at night, right? Yeah. Okay. So mornings until 8 o'clock, it would be cold. Then it starts getting warm until Bohur. Then it would only get cold at midnight. Okay. But like during uh, 7, 8, Asha, it would be still hot. Okay. So the last night, the last shoot in that location was that night shot. And the next day we'd go to the nice fancy, it was by Dubai Mall. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have this nice, you have a nice view and everything. <laughs> there, they have this room, or the interview room, <laughs> where monitors come out the uh, table. Oh, really? Yeah. MashaAllah. <laughs> and they have like a glass over here, where if you press a button, it tints. Okay. <laughs> it gets dark, so you can't see what's inside. After the glass gets tinted, yeah, I played with that button a lot. <laughs> the glass. <laughs> Keep turning it on and off. Like, the set was just amazing, that room. It was the shortest set we shot. It was two days only. Because uh, your jaw had been dropped down. <laughs> yeah, you've been seeing, like, glass tinted in the <laughs> screen. Goes on the table, okay? Screen goes out. You drop water on the, on the rug. <laughs> it absorbs the water. It just disappears. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they have over there. I'm sure those two days were the easiest days to shoot. Okay. Camera, camera is beside you. Everything. It's a small location. No, not a lot of carrying. It's in one location. Although we, st- it was the shortest. I was like from seven in the morning until five asr. Then we leave every day for the two days. And this actually the third day was a half day, just like from two to five. Very sh- short. After having that nice location, I'll consider it as a break. <laughs> Because the next uh, week was shot in the desert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the desert was the worst. <laughs> How long did you stand with in the desert? Uh, about Five days? Yeah, something like that, almost. Uh, first day we go there. I remember we first met in the gas station, so we could go all together, the whole crew. Mm-hmm. Three buses. Now we met in the gas station. I remember going down. I was wearing a long sleeve and a pants and everything. So people were looking at me, they're like, you know it's gonna be hot there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's gonna be hot. It's you, you know what you're gonna see over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we get there at seven in the morning. Hella cold, maybe like sixteen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Very cold, and everybody wearing shorts and that. I was like, shivering. Uh, yeah. They're shivering. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so we get go there. You wait for the what do you call it? I think they call it caravan. Mm-hmm. No, it's like a trailer. Yes. Yeah, they brought a trailer. With the camel and. Uh, no. Oh, okay. A Just trailer. A caravan. Yeah, a caravan. A trailer okay. for us where we could stay the crew. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, okay. One trailer okay, yeah. for 25 people, imagine. <laughs> okay. I think shift. <laughs> and Jade, literally. <laughs> we said all of us, all, the only people that stayed in there were the. for the makeup and the clothes. The rest Other of the, than that, outside. Yeah, okay. <laughs> definitely. Uh. And then I always had a fight with the makeup artist because she would like plug in her utilities okay. and she would unplug the batteries of the camera because <laughs> they used to charge. We used to have three batteries, <laughs> okay, to that charge and one that goes in the camera. So and, she put and she'll utilities. unplug it and she'll forget to unplug the battery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I hated going back to that caravan to check on the batteries because it was like... It's too far. Very far. <laughs> Imagine walking on soft sand where... When you step, <laughs> your feet goes under the sand. It wasn't like hard sand, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was hella hard. So you walk, walk, I was like, shit, what's this? And you're walking. In the it's snow. like walking on treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First day, just parked like 250 yards from where we were shooting. Okay. So, and you're walking in the sun. Bur, hella hot. I think you told them that uh, you're in American football team. No, so that's why they <laughs> they're like you get the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> you're the most athletic. Yeah. We can see your speed. You're too fast. <laughs> Yellow, go, go, go. Well, I used to walk with kid at the sun. I used to walk like this because the sun doesn't hit my head, <laughs> even though I'm wearing a hat. But it's just hot during the twelve o'clock to this. Very hot. So first day of shooting, not bad. And I hated the sun. Sun used to go everywhere. On my phone, in my socks, in my shoes, in my pants. You go home, you come to take a shower, it's all sad. Okay. <laughs> so I used to like, imagine I used to walk to the caravan maybe 10 times a day, just changing batteries and putting batteries. Because the batteries of the red goes hell quick. I wish we got like, there's bigger, bigger battery, like double our size. Mm-hmm. 
what I was used to say for shooting, maybe 45 minutes of shooting. So like if the camera is on for 45 minutes, oh, it finishes. So, okay. Which meant that I have to consistently go and come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would carry a bag that has batteries. Batteries are not that light even. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we're experience <laughs> <laughs> when we're planning that's, that's the good word you need to use like <laughs> literally experience yeah, yeah. i may hated it when i was in it but like now looking back at it i was like very good experience yes. it was very nice it was fun in some way mm -hmm. <laughs> but the day before we go to the desert we're planning like we're gonna get a two meter flag two by two meters too so we could all stand in it okay when we got there there's no flags to really? cover yeah <laughs> use diffusion <laughs> there was one flag which would either be used on the actor or if the actor is not using it while he's on the set we'll use it <laughs> we'll find like five people <laughs> under a small shade <laughs> and the only seats we have was like an app they call it an apple box literally it's like a box of apple mm -hmm. where we would put people to stand in it while it's not showing you know to mm -hmm. make a person look taller if they're not using it, we're sitting in it. That's the only source of sitting. Two Apple boxes for 10 people. <laughs> the director, the assistant director, the actors, the DOP, the camera. <laughs> so it's, you're either standing <laughs> or you get a chance. Okay. <laughs> or sit in the sand. That's a choice. But they say that there's stuff in the sand. Maybe a scorpion comes out, so you don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so first so this, this was like uh, after four days? or the next week or how long did you stay there in the desert no uh for the full uh dubai trip i stayed there one month but it was three weeks of shooting and one week was like off and one week was i stayed in the post-production okay off post-production whatever yeah. okay let's let's jump to the post-production okay just like to give some value okay. for those who listen or for those uh, who see the show post-production for me was the boring part you just said that the editing stuff. You like the editing. Yeah, but the watching people edit is not that fun. Okay. <laughs> Especially like the type of editing of it. It's like. At least they should give you like something. Um, get a music for us. They didn't even look at me. Get a music for, I mean, the. For the. For the post production yeah. style. Uh, which is going to stay like mm -hmm. another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> to get that. For, imagine 30 episodes, each one three minutes. I have to get a 30 episode song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but thank God I didn't have to do it, alhamdulillah. There was there were three people in post production. Colorist. They're gonna see this show. They're gonna call you. Leave me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spilling the beans on them. Yes. <laughs> okay. So That's there was the colorist, the main editor, and the one who used to put the timeline together. Okay. Those are the three people that I think. Mm -hmm. Imagine they used to have to. They used to stay so long. They used to stay longer than us on set. They used to stay in the hotel. Then they still have to go back home. And some people were like. In the close cities by Dubai, which I'm not sure of the name, so okay. like 30 minute drives or that. <laughs> Maybe also like the Sharjah or yeah, something like that. Okay. So they used to stay like come seven in the morning, then leave three in the morning next day. Wow. Yeah, and they're just editing consistently editing. Wow. <laughs> so first, you guys have eye consultant, guy. <laughs> yeah. Just to fix their eyes. <laughs> they, 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 like I don't know. It's crazy how long they stay. Huge 31 inch, three 31 inch screen. What type of uh, screen they're using? LG like? Uh, BenQ. Okay. Uh, they said BenQ because it has the most, uh, any natural color closest to what you're going to watch in your phone. Okay. Because they brought a Samsung one. It's very, very. So what What about the CPU thing? Are they using something? Uh, they use a PC and they use uh, one Apple. Okay. Okay. Uh, the uh, I remember asking about the specs. The Apple one had 64 gigs of RAM, and I don't know about the graphics card. Uh, the other one, uh, the PC had like 120 gigs, but it was still slower than the Apple one. Okay. okay. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they used the uh, three BenQ monitors. Each one had the color, had the monitor, and the uh, the how do you call it? The one who put the timeline together had their own okay. thing. Uh, it was it was the most boring part because they're just like cutting and putting the videos together, you know. Yeah. Not something wow or something new. No, I was interested in the coloring, but I didn't understand the uh, Da Vinci that back then. Okay. I was looking, I see circles, <laughs> lie, and I could, I didn't understand. The most part was the nodes, or it's like in a corner you could like it's basically layers, mm -hmm. which I didn't know back then. Okay, for wrapping up this 
trip uh, Dubai trip in short words maybe what did you learn from mm. Dubai's trip first thing I've really learned was uh, I would say huh? pa- patience. definitely patience yes. but like what I learned for, for filmmaking would be uh, how does the set go okay. like how the, the flow, crew yeah the process, how the flow, the flow goes yeah and I've learned about lighting most important okay and then I learned about very like how camera lenses work and how the camera itself works because they're very different from DSLRs, which was any. I remember in that one week of post production, I sat with him like two, three times just to learn how the the lens work and those stuff. For the stuffs you're posting and um, editing, what for for the work you're doing or for your own stuffs you're doing like yeah. freelancing stuff so. You're not posting much on Instagram on your social media accounts. Uh, definitely. Uh, there's I haven't freelanced a lot, and I haven't posted much of the work from ninety one that I've done. Why? I don't know actually. <laughs> you know that it's gonna be like a different push. Try like even um, activate the rest social media accounts, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. LinkedIn. You I need haven't to be even LinkedIn. started in LinkedIn yet. You need to be LinkedIn because, like, the corporate style stuffs. Uh, if you're like in there, I you're gonna know a lot. Videos. Sometimes <laughs> it's work. I know. <laughs> you can't say no for work. <laughs> it's the worst videos. I didn't teach you that in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst videos. I hate making corporate videos. I mean, like, if it's, I don't know. Like, if I have a choice to run away, I'll run away from it. Right. Honestly. The corporate style. Okay, you can like um, do the entertainment or edutainment uh, videos, like um, showing people how to edit through Premiere. Oh, you mean like to post on my YouTube or something maybe, like that? Maybe, yes, maybe. Those stuff's like, maybe you can like post the final post-production stuff on Instagram, uh, videos, maybe like you need to like to be a little bit active on Twitter. Um, just Definitely to grab Twitter. attention. I don't have anything on Twitter. Just to grab attention. Yeah, but like what would I post on Twitter? What would you say? I think you need to jump like on trends. Yes. That related to photography, videography, editing, shooting, maybe social media that you thrown away. Um, Definitely thrown away Facebook. No, I mean the ads stuffs. Uh, that stuff. Yeah. Don't throw it away. They're stored somewhere. I just got to look for it. Okay. <laughs> You need like to check it out because uh, still there's a lot of people like they're looking for freelancing because they can't afford companies or corporates or agencies like to hold their accounts. Which is good um, for me in some way. Yeah, but like sometimes you're going to say, show me your work. Or sometimes you're just like going to say, Instagram is a profile. Yeah, especially profile. Instagram, I don't even yes. show often my work. That's the thing. You need maybe come even you show like the um, behind the scenes how you can edit. Maybe you can like have um, a channel on YouTube just like how to edit, yeah. how to shoot, how to. Mm. Peter Khattab McKinnon, <laughs> if you know him. <laughs> Style tips and advices for those who are entering photography, videography, and um, what tips and advices can you give them? As me starting this year. I that you've learned within one year, let's okay. say. I would say uh, first step would be go down to the field. Mm-hmm. There's nothing like the experience of the field. Me coming from Dubai and shooting with that, it's different. When I go down in the field, then I'm the one who's going to shoot. Mm-hmm. That's the, uh, my number one tip. Then uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. You just got to find the right ones to like, and you learn how to shoot. But I've read this from multiple like uh, directors who've directed huge feature films. They're like, you know, learn your style. You okay. don't need to copy copy someone else. You could look at other people, but implement it on the way that you like it. You know, create your own style of uh, shooting. Mm-hmm. You don't need to always follow whatever you've seen. And like, I've watched videos, but then I'll try to implement my style. I don't want to copy the exact same that I've seen in videos. So most I've learned is uh, any asking people like that have experienced it before me and 
watching videos and going down in the field. Implement them. Implementing them in the field. You have to implement them like right away. Like sometimes I've watched the video, then like two, three weeks I didn't go down in the field, then I come down, I forgot it. Of course. You have to implement it right away. Even if you implement it, implement it once, it won't be like enough. Yeah. It need to be like 20, 30. Yeah, times, too. Just yeah. Like, so you can do it with like. So it becomes natural. Blindfolded. So it's like, yeah. So it's not like uh, you think of it, then you're like, ha, oh, so you become natural with it. You know what you're going to do. You look at the scene, you're like, I want to do this. I don't need to think, oh, when this guy, I've seen this video. So you could just like implement right away. Okay. Um, so we're coming to an end, okay. which is thank you for coming uh, in this show. Anytime. Literally, like, uh, I'm thanking you from my bottom of my heart. Um, before ending, always, okay. we would like for the guest to ask a question for the people who listen or for the, for the people who watch the show, show so they can like reply back down in the comments below. So okay. what type of question you want to ask them? I would like to ask, uh, it would be like, what would it be? I'm just trying to phrase it, but I already know what it's okay. the question is. I uh, know. Are you doing what you like at the moment? Or are you just doing it for someone else? Thank you. That's the question. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for the answers. Um, thank you for listening and watching the show. Hopefully um, you guys see me more. Of course, inshallah. Thank you for your time. Anytime. Thank you, bro. Thanks for having me.